Hi everybody, it's Pamela again today. I'm trying to get caught up on all my videos and things that I wanted to share. So today, or right now, I want to show you my first custom order journal. And she wanted, she travels a lot, so she wanted something kind of boho, gypsy, wander, traveler kind of theme. And so I just tied it simply on the front with this cord with some bells on it. And so it's quite expandable. And it just has an image on the front of this gypsy girl that I used stickles on and kind of glittered it up a little bit with that. And then just some flat velvety ribbon and uh, flowers on the front and I used um, some old batik fabric that I had and on the back put this lace and a little folded envelope in the very back and of course book corners on the edges it's a soft cover oh I made this um, little dangle thing that has gypsy figures on it. You might have seen it in a previous video that I did today. I just, I love them. I think they're so cool. So she got one of these on her book. So let's go inside and take a look. I have a lot of really cool images that I got off of the internet and um, just did a lot of stamping and put places for her to put pictures and memorabilia and tuck spots and all kinds of things. So I just used a variety of papers and laces, made tuck spots for her to write on or put images that she's, pictures that she has taken along the way of her, her journeys. And got some more images of kind of some interesting men gypsy men. There's an envelope with some tuck spots and some in a pocket. One of those glassine bags. Another tuck spot. Just coffee dyed a lot of paper. Here's a top loading pocket with an image on it. I think this is a pretty cool image. Just love it. But has some things oops in that pocket and just more images and tuck spots tried to give her as many spaces to write in as possible another envelope that's got paper folded in it Another little tuck spot to put things in. There are two pockets here and one there. Made a little tuck, corner tuck spot and put some paper in it. Did some stenciling on the back side. Here's a side pocket. I just put paper in it. More envelopes and images. This is, I believe it's cherry Kool-Aid that I dyed that with. Came out pretty cool. This is avocado that I boiled and got the pink dye from. Of course, all the coffee staining. It's another side pocket with some paper and things that she can write on and tuck things away. I just think it turned out really fun. Here's another pocket with a really sweet image. A little girl. Some more gypsy images. Paper. Here's another top loader. It just has paper in it. Just a nice piece of paper to write on. Put back inside. And room for more things. More tuck spots. There's another side loading. Oh, I love this image. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one is pretty cool. And I put
put a lot of stickles on that. I think she's going to really love it. She saw it part way through, but she hasn't seen all the fun stuff that goes in afterwards, so I think she'll be pleased. Another spot for her to tuck things. There's an image. I love this lady. What a life she's led, huh? Her face tells a lot. Beautiful lady. Little tuck spot. Ah, come on. With just some a napkin that I decoupaged onto some index cards. More lace. There are some Franken page tags that I made. Oops. Another piece of paper that I folded like an envelope. Another beautiful image. It's hard to pick, there are so many pretty ones. Here's another side loading pocket, and I left that one empty. More papers. There's another side pocket that I folded an envelope. Another, um, uh, another page with this beautiful lady on it. And we're almost to the end. Lots of laces and pockets. There's another little envelope. And love this, how this turned out. This is a napkin that I used matte medium on the page and on the paper. There's another image. And a few last pages. My fingers will work. Oh, here's another tuck spot. It's an envelope that I glued to a page. So it has tuck spots there, and then you can open it up and put things inside there. Here's a big tuck spot. More papers. Here's a side, another side one with some little cards in it. More paper. A little image. And a little envelope on the back. If I can get my fingers in there. There you go. And that is it. So I hope she loves it. I think she will. I do. Sometimes it's hard to give these things away when you make them. You want to keep them. <laughs> but can't keep them all. Okay, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Okay, bye.